Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use order by in Django queries. So this is actually a video from my course, Django Database Essentials. It's a free course on my website. So after you finish watching this video, you can go to my site and watch the other videos. I have quite a few on how to use the database models in Django. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Now let's talk about order buys. So order buys is basically order your results in some way. So the default ordering is going to be the order that they were inserted into the database. So one is going to be first, followed by three, then four, then five, then six. But if I wanted to change that order when I get the results, so first let me show you what it looks like uh, to get the default ordering. So if I just get all, it starts with prettyprinted.com. That was the first thing. Then Yahoo, example, Facebook, Apple. If I wanted a different order, then I would use order by. So simple, objects, and then instead of all, I can use order by. And implicitly, it's going to operate on all the results. If I had a filter before this, the filter will operate first, and then the order by. Then I'm going to pass in a string. And this string is going to specify what is going to be ordered. So for example, if I order by ID, then I get the exact same result because it's starting with the smallest ID and working its way up. But I can reverse that. And to reverse it, I simply use a minus in front of that. So instead of starting with the smallest ID, it's going to start with the largest. And now when I do it, I see that Apple is first, followed by Facebook, example, Yahoo, and then pretty printed. So it's just the exact opposite because I have that minus in front. And I can order by the other columns as well. So if I wanted to order by the URL, I can do simple objects, order by URL. And since it's a string field, it's going to order it alphabetically. So Apple is first, so the A, then F, and then the H in the HTTP, followed by the W, and then because these are similar up to the www dot, E comes before Y. And of course, I can reverse that by simply putting the minus in front of it. And then I get Yahoo first, example, and then prettyprinted.com, Facebook, and Apple. And these can be combined as well. So normally you would have multiple order buys when potentially two columns could have the same ordering. So let's take a look at the number column, which has two number tens. So simple objects, I should say order by number. So Apple is first because the number is two, followed by prettyprinted.com and yahoo.com, which both have 10, and then example, and then Facebook. So because prettyprinted.com and yahoo.com both have the number 10, they're going to have some ordering. If I wanted to force a more strict ordering, I can append another option to order by. So first I'm going to order by the number, and then I'm going to order by the URL. So when I do this, it gives me prettyprinted.com first, then yahoo.com first. So that's the same as above, but it's a more explicit ordering. But if I put a minus in front of the URL, we now see how it changes. So everything is the same except for yahoo and prettyprinted.com. They've switched because when you're reversing the order for the URL, yahoo.com, www.yahoo.com comes before http and then prettyprinted.com. So you can combine this in as many ways as you want. Just know that you, you, you normally add more options for order by when you have columns that potentially have the same data. So you can get the exact ordering that you want. That way there are no duplicates and there are no ambiguous orderings when you are getting your data. So it just depends on what your use case is when you're doing this, but the options are there available for you to order by something. And if you wanted to limit these results, then you simply use the syntax right after. So if I wanted to limit to the first three results, it gives me Apple, Yahoo, and Sim or prettyprinted.com. And those are the orders that I get after I apply the order by. So that's all that's happening there. 